Hello, hello. Good evening, guys. Good evening. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Good night. I'm fine. Very good, very good, very good. All right, so let's wait for the rest of the class. And at 8 o'clock, we start with everything, okay? So we are going to double check the the, the topics that we have pending, okay? A las 8 de la noche vamos a empezar a verificar los um, temas que dejamos pendientes, okay? So, what time it is right now? Anybody can Four tell minutes. me? Four minutes? Okay, all right. Hello. Okay. Hello. Okay, good morning. And then from 12. A.M. to, I guess, 11, 59. Okay. All right, class, uh, we have two minutes uh, remaining. All right, so actually two, two minutes. We have to wait two minutes. All right, so I just send you uh, some information related like related to the to the greetings, right? So uh, les acabo de mandar una información relacionada a los, a los saludos. Okay, yo sé que ustedes ya lo vieron, pero tampoco me lo voy a interpretar mal, ¿verdad? O sea, esto es para qué... La próxima no me lo, no lo diga así. O sea, detallitos. Usted sabe que hay que irlos corrigiendo desde el principio. ¿Verdad? Porque ya adelante, pues, usted dice, Dios mío, ¿por qué no puse atención? ¿Por qué no, por qué no atendí los, los consejos del, de, de los maestros? ¿Verdad? Entonces, acuérdese que good morning, cuando se dice good morning, es de la, de la madrugada, 12 de la, de, de, la, de la mañana, hasta las 11 y 59 ¿Verdad? Ese es good morning, ¿verdad? Good morning. De, la, del, do, de las 12 del mediodía, noon, hasta las 5, casi 6 de la tarde es good afternoon. All right. Eh, y de las 6 hasta las 9, por decirlo así, 6 hasta las 10, good evening. All right. Good evening. Y cuando ya nos vamos a dormir, good night. All right. O sea, ya... Por ejemplo, porque ahorita, este, no sé si me dijeron ahí good night, pero lo, 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 lo dijeron como en español, perdón, ajá, como nosotros decimos, hola, buenas noches, si dice en español no hay problema, ¿verdad? En, problema, el, 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 en español no hay problema, si usted dice buenas noches, teacher, buenas noches, everybody, ¿verdad? Pero si va a saludar así como 
buenas noches, solo de salud es good evening, all right? Y ya cuando se va a dormir, good night, all right? So, is that clear? All right, so now, all right, eight o'clock, guys. Uh, good evening, everybody. All right, once again, my name is Rene. I'm going to explain, we will try to explain uh, our classes, all right? So our topics that we have pending last class. But first, let me just share some information real quick. Let's see, just a moment. Here, one second, please. We're gonna double check. Quick details over here. Okay, there we go. All right, first, uh, I would like to share some information on uh, this part over here and tell me and let me know if you can see the information that I'm sharing, that I'm trying to share with you guys, okay? So let me know all the time, please, okay? Because la yesterday I was talking. Háganme saber siempre que si estoy, eh, si estoy compartiendo, ¿verdad? Eh, si no estoy compartiendo, me hace saber, por favor. O sea, yo sé que no es su obligación, pero tal vez para avanzar, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. All right. So now, uh, just in order, guys, to give you some ideas or most likely uh, the motivation that we have. All right. Today, our break, uh, icebreaker activity would be motivation. Repeat, everybody. Motivation. 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 All right. Motivation. All right. motivation. Motiv very good. Motivation. Very good. So we need to be motivated, right? So I understand that we had a bad day. Everybody... You know, we just came from work, you know, and we feel kind of tired, right? So we feel like, oh, my goodness, uh, I feel so tired. But you know what? You need to be motivated. Yo veníamos, acabamos de regresar del trabajo y necesitamos estar motivados, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos con todo, all right? So the, the quote from, to, uh, from today is the, the next one. The best way to predict your future is to create it, all right? The best way to predict your future is to create it by Abraham Lincoln, all right? So what did that means? El mejor, la mejor manera de predecir tu futuro es creándolo, all right? So, ¿qué estamos creando ahora, uh, my kiddos? You are creating, you know, knowledge. You are creating activities. You are creating paths, all right? Usted está creando okay. conocimiento, actividades, y caminos al saber. Sí, dígame, ¿quién me habló? Solo repetí. Yes. Okay, now repeat, everybody. The best way to predict your future. Come on, everybody. The best way to predict your future. The best way to predict your future. All right. The, mm -hmm. the best way to predict your future is to create it. All right? Yeah, yeah. To create it. Excellent, excellent. All right. So now, nos comprometemos a que vamos a, a darle con todo, a salir adelante, que la mejor manera de predecir nuestro futuro es creándolo. Pero si usted lo crea, con buen arranque, ¿verdad? A veces estamos apagaditos, estamos así, que estamos bien cansados, pero you are in the, in the right place, okay? So now, let's rock and roll and let's double check what we are going to review as our next class all right let's see let me one second let's see it's a moment okay okay just a moment please all right so last class uh we checked right so simple present statements do you remember yes Yes. Yes. All right. Very good. Very yes. good. All right. So, but we didn't check the the whole video, right? No chequeamos el todo el video. No se recuerdan. Yo, sí lo chequeamos, pero solo escuchándolo, ¿verdad? Porque uno de ustedes me dijo de que no lo estábamos viendo. ¿Se, se recuerdan? Yes. All right. Yes. Very good. Okay. We're going to check this and then we're going to jump to the next class. All right. So, let's repeat. Simple present statement. Very good, very good. Round of applause for you guys. Very nice. All right. So, all right. What did that mean? Simple present statements. All right. So that means simple presente, oraciones en simple presente. ¿Verdad? 
Entonces, eso es el simple presente, simple present statements. Now, let me play the video now for you guys and pay attention, please. After you finish this exercise, please share your work in our discussion. Use okay. One second. Use it, 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 use it. Just a moment, just a moment. Use it, 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 use it. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form simple present statements using regular verbs. Let's get started by practicing the statements that you see on the screen. I walk to school. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Contractions. Don't equals do not. Doesn't equals does not. The examples illustrate how we can form positive statements and negative statements. Let me start by explaining how we can form positive statements. In order to form positive statements in the simple present, you need to follow this formula. All right, guys, remember that this guy is trying to explain how you can form your statements, all right? Él está aplicando, le está tratando de explicar la manera de cómo crear las oraciones en simple presente. Yo sé que ya lo, ya lo vimos, pero solamente estoy corroborando, ¿ok? Vamos con el video. Subject plus verb plus complement. For example, I walk to school. I walk. I is the subject. Okay. Walk is the verb. Uh, and um, school. To school is the complement. Let's take a look at uh, our next example. You ride your bike to school. You is the subject, right, is the verb, your bike to school is the complement. There is a particular rule that I would like to explain as well, and that has to do with the third person. First of all, whenever we refer to the third person, we're talking about he, she, and it. So the rule is, in the simple present, whenever we make statements with the third person, we will add an S to that verb. Let's take a look at that. Okay, now let me make a short parenthesis, guys. Let me, déjeme hacer un, un corto parenthesis. Estamos uh, claros acá lo que está explicando el maestro con esta parte de acá que les acaba de explicar. Estamos claros. Yes, teacher. Everybody? Yes. Very good, yes. everybody. everybody. All yes, right. Formula. Sujeto, verbo y complemento. Correcto, correcto. Subject, verb, and complement. All right. So, le pregunto esto no porque, o sea, no estoy dudando del conocimiento de cada uno, sino para detenerme y explicarlo, ¿verdad? No quiero irme a la carrera, ¿verdad? Si usted no entiende, no, uh, no worries, ¿ok? I will try to explain the information once again. And that's not a problem, okay? So, entonces, si todos lo, entendi lo entendimos, vamos con el video. Let's go, let's see. Just a, just a moment. Particular rule. He works near here. Instead of work, we say works. 
And once again, this is because we are talking about he. And by the way, that could be the name of a person as well. For example, John works near here. She takes the bus to work. Notice the S after the verb. Now, I would like to show you how we can form negative statements in the simple present. In order to understand this topic, I would like to show you the auxiliary verbs which we will use. Do and does. We're going to use do not for the pronouns I, you, we, and they. We're going to use does not for the pronouns he, she, and it. All right, guys, are we clear where we are going to use do and does? Si yo le pregunto, uh, let's see, si le pregunto, uh, Mr. Armando Antonio, how are you doing today, Armando? If I do ask you where we are going to use do and does. And the contraction for those. Uh, and does. Yeah. Yeah. Do and does. Porque ahorita el maestro está explicando dónde lo vamos a utilizar, ¿verdad? Uh, do is for I do with they and does uh, one person. Excellent. Yeah. Every, excellent. Very nice. Round of applause for you. Very good. Very good. I like that. All right. So, all right. Everybody is agree with uh, your classmate? Everybody is agree with Armando? Todos estamos de acuerdo con Armando? Pronouns are don't Yes. Me, me escuchan, niños. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. uh, agree. Yes. Okay, yes. agree. Everybody's agree. Okay, excellent, excellent. All right. Thank you. Okay, go ahead. And doesn't. Now let me write the formula. We're gonna have a subject plus don't or doesn't plus the verb plus some kind of complement. So if we take a look at one of our examples, I don't live far from here. I is the subject. Don't is the auxiliary verb. Live is the verb and then the complement is far from here. Let's take a look at one more example. She doesn't drive to work. She is the subject. Doesn't is the auxiliary verb. This is the third person that I was talking about earlier. Drive is the verb. In this case, I would like for you to notice that we don't add an S. And the reason is because we have an auxiliary verb. So every time there is an auxiliary verb, we will omit the rule of adding an S. To work is the complement. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to describe your transportation habits and also talk about the transportation habits of friends and relatives. The idea is to make positive and negative statements about yourself and others. For example, I don't drive to work. I take the bus. My sister drives to work. She has a new car. After you finish this exercise, Please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, guys. Um, now everybody's clear with this um, information that this uh, teacher just provided us. Todos están claros con la información que nos acaba de brindar este maestro. 
Yes. 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 Uh, yes. Re remember. Yes. Rem yes. Very good. Very good. Remember that this is not because. Um, I mean, he's not mentioning he's not mentioning this information because you have to. Of course, we need to uh, practice more and more. All right. So from now on, you need to talk, think, do whatever you have around you. De ahora en adelante, usted tiene que pensar lo que tiene que hacer, lo que tiene alrededor suyo en inglés. All right. Como que se cambie de chip, verdad? O sea, usted dice, pero cómo voy a aprender? No. Si usted se pone si sigue los consejos, los pasos, las estrategias, los, los métodos, las prácticas de aprender inglés, va a aprender rápido, ¿verdad? Pero si usted se, se pone de que es mucha información, se va a, a llenar de, mucho, de mucha información que no la va a poder desarrollar. Entonces, por esa razón, él está diciendo de que de ahora en adelante vamos a utilizar esto en nuestras uh, rutinas diarias, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, él decía, I don't drive at work, I take the bus, ¿verdad? Entonces, si usted se fija, él ahí está usando subject, auxiliary, verb, and complement. ¿Qué dijo él? Que cuando usábamos un auxiliar, no le, agregaba, no le agregábamos el qué? Al, al verbo. La S. Yes. La S, right? Very good, very good, very good. Uh, nice, I like that. Okay, so now let's jump to the next next exercises. Let's see. So give me one second. Let me stop sharing right now. Okay. Everybody's in the house. Give me one second. Let's see. Second. Just a moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just a moment, please. All right. I see here that you guys send me some information, right? So I see here that we have uh your activities all right congratulations all right so that's that's good because that makes that is basically telling me that you guys are working uh so far together all right so as you can see guys we have the knowledge check over here all right so i just completed all right so i should i shouldn't complete it by myself i should complete this information with you however this part this knowledge check Tuve que haber hecho esto con ustedes, no lo tuve que hacer, no lo tuve que haber hecho con mi persona, pero de igual, uh, nos va a ayudar a trabajar para que usted ya tenga. Asumo de que usted tiene un papelito, tiene, tiene papel y lápiz en mano. All right. So, entonces vamos a apuntar cuál es la respuesta correcta. All right. So, if you, as you can see, we have uh, instructions first, right? So, acuérdense que siempre tenemos instrucciones y dice así, complete, complete the sentences with the correct verb form. Let's repeat, everybody, complete the sentences. Complete the sentences with the correct verb forms. With the correct verb forms. Excellent. All right. So, aquí está la, eh, la traducción, completar las oraciones con la forma correcta del verbo. Siempre, siempre que usted vaya a hacer un, un quiz, un test, un exam, acuérdese, acuérdese siempre, ¿verdad? Creo que ya lo sabemos todos, acuérdese de leer la instrucción. Porque a veces uno dice, ah, esto ya lo sé, pero al final no tenía que hacerlo de la manera que usted pensó que era, ¿verdad? Este es un tip, all right? So siempre we need to double check the instructions, all right? So now, first question it says like this, my family and I, what would you answer? Teacher, no Teacher, está no, no está la pantalla. Okay, one second, please. Thank you. I don't know what happens. Qué lindo. Thank you. Now, yes. Yes. Now, now let's check, all right? So, very good. Yes. All right, so if you, as you can see over here, we have the instructions here. The, the, the questions are already answered. I already answered the questions, I'm sorry. 
All right, so in the first question, it says like this. Uh, let's see. My family and I live or lives? Live. Live. Okay, anybody can tell me why live? Anybody can Por, tell me? Porque está hablando de ellos, de su... Plural. Porque está hablando en primera persona. Yeah, be, uh, exactly, right? Because, uh, uh, let's see, Carlos, right? He mentioned first his family. Él mencionó primero su familia. And then, el de, luego él se mencionó él, ¿verdad? I, Entonces, I, I right? So, so, that is first first person, all right? So, my family and I live in the suburbs, all right? Very good. Okay, next one. Let's see... Uh, Jenny, repeat that. Could you please tell us my, uh, I mean, the second, the second question, please. My wife and I work near here. Work, right? It's not works, it's not walk, it's mm -hmm. work, right? Because she, mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. because he is talking about his wife and him, right? Himself. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Él está hablando de su esposa y de él mismo. Entonces sería, mi esposa y yo trabajamos cerca de acá o de aquí. All right, excellent, very nice. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Wilfredo, dígame la next one, please. So we walk, walk to work. So we walk to work. Walk All right. to work. All right, it's now walks. Is now works, right? So, ¿por qué no sería walks, uh, Wilfredo? Uh, porque we, uh, uh, no es tercera persona. Excellent. Very nice. Very nice job. All right. Round of applause for you. All right. Let's see here. Adriana, tell me the, se the, the next one. Adriana. Our son, solo que Our, no logro ver. Ala. Está, está acá. Ajá. Our daughter, Emily, works downtown. Ok. Es esta, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a ver. All right. Our daughter, Emily, work or works? work our daughter emily work or works 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 right works work. why work. why works uh adriana es tercera person. very good very good nice job my class all right very good okay so now next one let's see uh vamos a agarrar de aquí abajo, vamos a ver Maybelline, tell me the next one, please um, so she drives to work so she drives to work, right? so, and why drives uh, Marisol? Because, uh, oh, Maybelline, dije, no, I'm sorry Maybelline <laughs> um, because es tercera persona. Estamos Very hablando. Good. So, repeat. Because we are talking in third parties. Repeat. We are talking. Because, mm -hmm. because we are talking. In third party. In third party. Party. Yeah, or third person. Third person. Very good. Round of applause. All right. So, vamos acostumbrándonos, my kids, all right, to talk English since the beginning. Porque acostumbrémonos a hablar ya desde este momento. Ya le dije, no se sienta ni se vaya a sentir mal. All right. Si usted lo pronuncia, aquí nadie se va a burlar. Nadie le va a decir, mira, lo hiciste mal. Porque incluso hasta uno de, 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 de teacher, de maestro, de facilitador comete errores. All right. So aquí estamos todos aprendiendo. Ok. Usted solo dígamelo y repítalo como lo está diciendo la, los demás compañeritos. All right. So let's see. Uh, next next one. Let's see. Vamos a ver. 
Maria, Wendy, Guadalupe, please. Our song does not dry. Our son does does not dry. Okay, repeat one more time. Our son doesn't. Our son doesn't drive. Dry. Very good, very good. Our son doesn't drive. All right. Nice job, nice job. I like that. Okay, so our son doesn't drive. Okay, so okay, and let's see the next one. Let's see. Vamos a ver. Ya pasaron muchas. Aníbal Martinez, tell me the next one, please. Uh, he rides. He rides his bike to school. He rides his bike to school. All right. So yeah. everybody knows why rides, right? You know, right. Porque es rides. Right. Gets rides. Uh, Aníbal. Eh, contar. No, ¿por qué? Por, ajá, ¿por qué, okay. eh, ¿por qué con S al final y no sin la S? Tercera persona. Third party, right? Third party. Remember, third party. All right. Excellent. Okay, let's see. Ana Graciela Ramos Garcia, please, next one. What will be the answer? My parents? My parents live in the city. My parents live, live. in the city. Live. Live, not live. 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 Oh, live. live. Uh -huh, My parents yes. live in the city. Very good. My parents live in the city. Very good. Very good. Excellent. All right. So the next one, let's see. Anderson, Jeremy. Next one, please. My mother. my mother my mother takes a train to work okay my mother takes a train to work everybody my mother takes a train to work my mother takes a train to work everybody my mother takes my mother takes a train to work very good okay so next one let's see uh, Floricia Menjivar, next one, please. My father is. Re retire. My father is retired, so he does work now. He doesn't. Remember, he doesn't. All right? He doesn't. Ex excellent. No tenga miedo. Dígalo como lo, okay, como crea no. que es conveniente. Si, está, no. si hay una S ahí, hay que pronunciarla. He doesn't. All right? My father is retired, so he doesn't work now. Everybody, repeat. My father is retired. My father is retired. Now. Excellent, excellent. All right, so let's see now. Marisol de Los Angeles, please. Next one. Marisol, are you here? Are you there? Okay, no está Marisol. Kenny, Wa Kenny Guadalupe. Uh, he also use, uh, uses pu public transportation. Very good. He also uses pu uh, public transport transportation. All right. Everybody repeat. He also he uses. Also uses all right. Acuérdese que no es no la pronunciación no es public. public. Es como que lo es como que lo pongamos así, mire. Like oh. Like yeah, public, right? Public. Like um, this. Public. public. All right. Esa es la manera en que se escucha, ¿verdad? Y es la manera de pronunciarlo, pero se escribe, se escribe P-U-B-L-I-C. All right, public, con O, 
es como que lo dijera con O, public, all right? So, very good. Excellent. All right, so in the last one, let's see. Anybody here? Jacqueline Janet, please, the last one. Jacqueline? Don't need a car. So they don't need a car, all right? So I barely hear you. Casi no le escuché, Jacqueline. So they don't need a car. Repeat, everybody. So don't they need a car? They don't need a car. They don't need a car. They don't need a car. Excellent. Excellent. Very nice job. Run applause for everybody. Now, before I forgot this information, let's see. Let me do something here real quick. Let's see. I'm going to pass this real quick, okay? So eight tonight today it's wednesday right este es el grupo en que estamos verdad adriana está aquí adriana madai ramirez yes thank you okay excellent okay all right let's see ana garcia ramos garcia very good. Anders, Anderson, Jeremy, Molina. I'm here. Very good, very good. Armando, Antonio. Here. Very good. Uh, Blanca, Stephanie, Vasquez. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Carlos, Aníbal, Martinez, Ramos. Present teacher. Excellent. All right, Celestia, Gemina, Martinez, Rivas. I'm here, teacher. Very good, very good. Diana, Patricia, Carranza, Paz. Present, teacher. Excellent. Elmer, Alexander, Ruiz, Rodriguez. Present. Okay. Elsie, Gabriela, Ramos, Mahano. Elsie. Gabriela, Ramos, Mahano. It's not here. Okay, uh, let's see, Floricia Mejivar Vigil. Present teacher. Very good. A ver, one second. Alguien nos iba a conectar ahora, para permítame. Permítame, vamos a ver. All right, let's see. It's okay. Vamos con Griselda, Raquel, Estrada, Landa Verde. I'm here. Very good. And Ingrid, Esmeralda, Cornejo. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, I, is, Isbel, Araceli, Beltrán. Present teacher. Excellent. Jacqueline, Janet, Guzmán, Bonilla. Present. Excellent. Jaime, Iván, Ventura, Castro. I am here, teacher. Excellent. All right, Jocelyn, Stephanie, Bautista, Suniga. I am here. Excellent. Karina, Jamilet, Gonzalez, Pineda. I am here, teacher. Excellent. Carla, Joanna, Martinez, Platero. Ella me comentó que le pidió permiso. Okay, vamos a ver. Uh, Kenny Guadalupe Hernandez Godoy. I'm here. All right. Maria Wendy Guadalupe Rodriguez. Present. Uh, Marisol de Los Angeles Cortez Gonzalez. Present, teacher. Excellent. Maybelline Lisbeth, I mean Lisette Ramirez Martinez. Present. Excellent. Ronald, Ronald Alexander Rodriguez Posada. Ronald Alexander Rodriguez Posada. Okay, he's not here. Ronald Vladimir Comayagua Amaya. Ronald Vladimir Comayagua Amaya. Los dos Ronald faltaron ahora. Wilfredo Alberto Canacas Rivas. Present teacher. Excellent. 
Jenny Guadalupe Martínez Murcia. Present teacher. All right. Alguien que no lo haya mencionado. Que me levante la manita o me mande un mensaje al grupo, bueno, aquí al chat, por favor. Ok, so let's go, let's get back on track. Se van a la clase. Let's go, let's see. All right, lesson objective. Repeat, lesson objective. Everybody, come on, let's go. Lesson objective. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, so. What would be the objective? ¿Cuál sería el objetivo? By the end of this class, you will be able to make simple present statements using irregular verbs. Al final de esta clase, usted va, ustedes serán capaces de hacer oraciones en presente simple utilizando los verbos ir, irregulares, ¿verdad? Entonces, all right, let's repeat. By the end of this class. By the end of this class, by the end of the class, you will be able to make simple present statements. You will be able to make. You will be able to make simple present sentences using irregular verbs. Using irregular verbs. Very good, very good. All right, so let's go. Irregular verbs. Excellent. Ese es nuestro objetivo, okay? So. Uh, first, uh, I would like to share some information. Es, eh, quiero explicarles un poco respecto a lo que son los eh, verbos irregulares. Pero antes que pongamos este video, solo voy a dar un corto, una corta definición relacionada a esto. Ok, permítame saber. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Un momento, por favor. Permítame. Okay. All right, so. Si usted se fija acá, tenemos los uh, re, eh, verbos regulares y verbos irregulares, ¿ok? Aquí como definición tenemos, ¿verdad? Esta parte de acá, ¿verdad? Que esta es la definición. Los verbos regulares prácticamente son los verbos, uh, dice, regular verbs form their past, in, I mean, their past and past participle form by adding ed. A estos, a los verbos regulares, eh, usted le va a agregar la ed al final. Si el verbo es watch, hasta aquí, hasta aquí, ¿verdad? Usted le va a agregar ed. All right, so, ¿y qué sería? I watch, I watch TV last night. All right, so, quiero que me, que me comprenda en el momento de que estemos dando la clase, o sea, en el momento que usted está, que usted esté en la, en la conversación con alguna persona nativa o alguien que le esté hablando en inglés, obviamente, ¿verdad? No, no voy a estar así o, o diciendo, I watch, ¿verdad? No, es sí. prácticamente, I watch, All right, I watch. Sí. O sea, rápido, usted lo, lo identifica. Y de igual manera, si usted me dice, I watch TV last night, Mr. Escamilla, so yo entiendo que usted, usted vio la, la televisión anoche, ¿verdad? La noche anterior. The same thing over here. Pasado, exacto. Very good, very good. Excellent. You see? También yo aprendo de ustedes. Very nice, very nice. Ok, si estamos hablando del verbo play, que solo es esto, y si digo I play, solo estamos diciendo yo juego, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. pero si digo pasado, es I play baseball this morning. All right? So, what that means? ¿Qué me dice esa oración? I play I played baseball this morning. I played play baseball this morning. I played baseball this morning. Okay, what would be the meaning in Spanish? Uh, basketball esta mañana. Basketball or baseball? Baseball. 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 Okay. okay, excellent. I played excellent. basketball this morning. All right, very good. Y si se fija, aquí estamos con los mismos 
con los mismos uh, verbos, ¿verdad? Estamos con I enjoyed the new film, all right? So repeat, I enjoyed the new I film. 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 The next one, we studied hard for this test. We studied hard for this test. What is the meaning in Spanish? What would be the meaning? Exactly, right? Why estudiamos? ¿Por qué estudiamos? No. Ajá, pero porque dice estudiamos. Because they say because we. Because we, right? Because we, no, porque nosotros. We. Algo que hicimos. Ajá, pero we, nosotros. Porque nosotros estudiamos duro para este examen. All right, very good. All right, so what is the meaning? I enjoy the, the new film. I mean, I enjoy the new film. What would be the, the, the meaning? Disfruté la Disfruté la nuevo. De la película, ¿verdad? All right. And let's see. Let's repeat. My brother climbed the cliff wall. My brother climbed, My brother climbed the cliff wall. Cliff wall. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Teacher. Yes, sir. I have a question. Go ahead. Eh, bueno, pero en español, porque yo me, no sé, me recuerdo que hay como una, una regla eh, para, para pronunciar los verbos en pasado, porque hay unos que, por ejemplo, están en pasado y, y la pronunciación al final es como in id y luego otros verbos eh, con t, algo así. Si exacto. No me lo recuerdo. Exacto, no, exacto. Ahorita sí. Buena pregunta, buena observación. Este, no se preocupe, eso lo vamos a ir viendo más adelante, ¿verdad? Ahorita solo le estoy dando la, la, la información de la, del tema que estamos desarrollando. Luego usted va, vamos a, vamos a agarrar esos puntos para que usted los logre eh, complementar con lo que usted va a aprender este día y los siguientes días. Pero ese es un tema aparte, pero sí le entiendo lo que usted me dice, lo que me quiere decir. Por ejemplo, en esta parte de acá, o sea, como les decía yo, si decimos I play, ¿Verdad? Y si yo digo, si yo jugué baseball this morning, entonces yo voy a, voy a decir, I played uh, baseball this morning. All right. Por el contexto que usted tenga, usted le va a dar sentido a que usted me está hablando en pasado y lo que estemos hablando, ¿verdad? Pero la pronunciación sí, tiene que ser con ED y se tiene que, no se tiene que oír marcada, ¿verdad? Pero usted dice, what, 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 played, played, studied. Studied, enjoyed, climbed, jumped, cooked, cooked. All right. Entonces, al principio sí tenemos que como mencionarlo, no que es que tenemos, que sí tenemos que hacerlo poco marcadito, pero se va a ir desarrollando poco a poco el proceso, ¿verdad? Con su pronunciación, ¿verdad? Déjeme ver, dice acá. Sí, es, es como que la E no se pronuncia, solo la D del final. Exactly, exactly. La, se, se, no, se, no se pronuncia como que se hace mudita, digamos, enjoyed. Enjoyed. Ah, no, 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 no sería enjoyed. No, no enjoyed, no, no enjoyed. No, no. Permítame que no sé qué prete aquí. Dios mío. Vamos a ver. Espera, 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 espera. All right, so, entonces, sí, esa es buena observación, ¿verdad? Lo que estamos viendo acá, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso lo vamos a ir observando y su labio, perdón, su, su pronunciación se va a ir haciendo, se va a ir mejorando, se va a ir mejorando y usted ya va a ir diciendo las cosas como, no es que no las digamos en este momento como son, pero con la práctica usted va a ir agarrando más eh, experiencia. Practice, make the master, remember, ¿ok? So, eh, para no quitarle mucho el tiempo en esta parte de acá, 
verbo regular y regulares, ya sabemos que son estos, ¿verdad? Acá, por, aquí tenga lo entendido que se le va a agregar la ed, la ed al final del verbo, ¿verdad? By adding, aquí dice regular verse form, their past and past participle form, by adding ed. O sea, que aquí le vamos a agregar la ed al pasado participio de cada verbo regular. El verbo irregular dice, irregular verbs do not follow the normal pa uh, pa partners for tense and past participle, ¿ok? So, si digamos en este caso, si usted se fija, estos, estos verbos de acá, ya se los señalo, permítame. A ver. Estos verbos de acá, por ejemplo, eight. ¿Cuál sería el verbo, el verbo, el, el, el verbo base de eight? Eight. Eat, right? Eat. Eat. Uh -huh. What would Eat. be the drink? The drunk? Drink. Drink. What would be a slap? Sleep. Sleep. What would, Sleep. What would be got? Go. 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 Get. 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 What would be a swam? Swim. Swim. What would be dog? What I mean, dog. It's like a. They say the child, the child dog, uh, the child dug a hole. El niño escarbó un, un hoyo. Mm -hmm. The dog hide the bone in uh, the bone. The the oh, the hi. dog hide the bone in the garden. All right. So as you can see, ahorita estos son solamente ejemplos cortos que yo le estoy dando para que ustedes tengan la idea para que no veamos el video sin entenderlo, ¿verdad? Ahorita por eso me tomé el tiempo de darle esta información. Permítame un momento, vamos a ver. Ese, ¿Están viendo el video en este momento? Se mira, se mira el video. Okay. Yes. Yes. Very good, very good, very good. Dime one second. ¿Dónde estamos? Ok, vamos a limpiar acá. Very good. Okay, let's go. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn to form simple present statements using irregular verbs. Let me start by explaining verbs. In English we have two types of verbs. Regular verbs and irregular verbs. Regular verbs form the majority of the verbs in English and irregular verbs are a small portion of all the verbs that exist in the English language. We need to learn both in order to achieve English fluency. In this case, we will talk about three irregular verbs that are used all the time to express ourselves. Have, do, and go. Let's analyze the chart on the screen. Simple present statements with irregular verbs. I, you, we, they. He, she, it. I have a bike. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Let's take a look at the examples on the left-hand side of the chart. I have a bike. We do our homework every day. My parents go to work by bus. What we're trying to illustrate in this case is that when forming simple present statements and whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they, the verbs will not change at all. If we look at the examples on the right hand side of the chart, we want to demonstrate that whenever we talk about the third person, he, she, or it, these verbs, have, do, and go, will change, and they change as follows. Have equals to has, do equals to does, go equals to goes. Let's analyze the examples on both sides of the chart. We don't hear you, teacher. I 
No se escucha, teacher. Sí. Ok. No uh, escucha. ¿Me escuchan ahora? Sí, sí. Ok. Sí. Uh, me están... Si sí me están entendiendo, están entendiendo esta parte de acá, lo que acaba de decir el, el, el teacher. Él estaba diciendo de que have va a ser igual a has, right? So, usted cuando esté hablando de yo, tú, nosotros, ellos, I, you, we, they, vamos a decir I have, you have, we have, they have. Pero si usted habla de he, she, it, va a decir he has, she has, it has. All right? Lo mismo va a ser con el do. All right. So, cuando usted dice, we do, uh, we do our homework every day. We do. Aquí en este caso, el do lo está utilizando como verbo. ¿Verdad? No lo está utilizando como, como auxiliar. Está, lo está utilizando como verbo. ¿Verdad? Teacher, pero ya me quedé perdido. No, no, no. No, no se preocupe. Aquí vamos a explicárselo bien. ¿Verdad? Entonces, usted dice, my mother does a lot of work at home, all right? Entonces, ¿por qué das? Porque todos estos de acá son para terceras personas, okay? The bus goes downtown, all right? No puede decir the bus go downtown. No puede decir así porque está hablando de it. Y el it es para... ¿Para qué se utiliza, se utiliza el it? Cosas. Para cosas. 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 Excellent. cosas. Very nice, very nice. My class. Right on, right on. Let's go. I have a bike. Notice how the verb have changes whenever we talk about my father. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. Notice how that changes whenever we talk about my mother. My mother does a lot of work at home. The same with my parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Now it's your turn to practice these three irregular verbs. I would like for you to form sentences about yourself and relatives and apply the rules that we just learned. Very good, very good. All right, so uh, we have uh, some ideas, uh, right? So we have, uh, we get the, we get the idea, you know, what our irregular verbs are, all right? So acuérdense de que esto no es, esta clase no es el éxito a que usted va a comprender el tema al 100%. Mi recomendación como facilitador es que usted se fogue, que agarre un un video en YouTube o en alguna otra plataforma y empiece a, a verificar cuáles son los videos, eh, los verbos irregulares, los verbos regulares, los otros dos temas, simple present, lo que hemos visto, este vocabulary transportation, ¿verdad? Todo eso lo vaya viendo usted aparte para que se vaya fogueando, ¿verdad? Ahora bien, este todavía tenemos like a five minutes. I'm going to send you to the breaker rooms. Quiero que este, en los breaker rooms usted comparta y se pregunten por lo menos dos oraciones usando uh, verbo irregular, verbos irregulares, ¿verdad? Entonces, si no tiene nada a la mano, pues trate de la manera de recordarse lo que acabamos de ver, lo que usted acaba de aprender, lo que, acaba, lo que se recuerde, ¿ok? Que no puedo, sí, usted sí puede. Usted es un campeón, ¿ok? No se preocupe. Vamos a ver. Sí. Vamos a ver, permítame un momento. Yes. Vamos a ver, permítame un momento. Uh, 
خلاص What happened, Tisha? Can you hear me? Can yes. you hear me? All right, so do you guys uh, went to the breaker rooms or you didn't? Si fueron, si fueron a los, a los breaker rooms. No. Pero por qué si lo, yo los mandé a los breaker rooms? Nadie, nadie estuvo con ningún, con ninguna, ninguna, ningún cole, ese, compañero. O sea, por aquí todavía los tengo. Ahorita ya se, va a, ya se van a cerrar. Y somos... Es que, ¿sabes lo que sucede? De que, vaya, cuando yo... Lo, no sé si le, les pasaba en las clases anteriores. Cuando se, lo manda, cuando se, lo, se manda a los breaker rooms, a los cuartitos de... De donde va a estar usted solo con su con su compañero, sus compañeros que son grupos de dos o de tres usted tiene que aceptar tiene que aceptar la, la invitación ¿verdad? cuando le cae la invitación este es cuando usted ya, ya está en, usted solamente con su compañero o su compañera ¿verdad? hablando respecto a lo que yo le acabo de mencionar ¿ok? entonces para la próxima cuando le caiga la notificación usted le da, parece que le llega sí o no le pone sí, porque si le pone no, usted se queda afuera. Se queda afuera y solo los que le dan que sí están adentro de los, de los cuartitos. ¿Sí me explico? All right, so, uh, ya casi termina sí, la clase. Casi a mí termina. se me cerró, se me sacó de la clase. No me apareció el mensaje. Oh, ok, ok, entonces. Ajá. Me he perdido me un rato ahí. Pero me ya se desconectó, me sacó de la clase. Ok, vamos a... All right, so uh, just to uh, just to complete the the whole information now, guys. Uh, remember that you need to practice. You need to complete the information that you have through your platform. Usted tiene que completar y completar y verificar los ejercicios que tiene en la plataforma para darle seguimiento a lo que usted está aprendiendo. Ya le voy a mandar este una información que tenía que haberla verificado ahora, pero si, mañana la vamos a ver. Es otra PowerPoint presentation. Se la voy a mandar al grupo. Vi que tenían problemas algunos para abrirla. Voy a tratar la manera de mandársela de la manera tal vez que el sistema me la reconoce, pero así va a ser el proceso, ¿ok? Entonces, este, déjeme ver. Uh, do you have any questions so far before I let you go, guys? Any questions? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Yes, I, I have a question, Tisha. Dígame. Eh, al principio usted nos explicó sobre los horarios uh -huh. entonces um, uh, yo he tenido otras veces yo fui la que le respondí que otras veces yo decía good evening y respondí good evening y me decía no tú tienes que decir good night porque yo te vengo saludando entonces no entiendo 
No, mañana se lo voy a explicar, ok, con mejor, okay. con mejor de detalles, ok. Pasen feliz okay. noche en Take It Easy, ok. Have a good night, guys. Bye, good night. Bye, bye. 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 Bye, bye.